So after watching episode 14 of Demon Slayer, guys, we see that Inosuke's face is revealed, finally revealed. Um, because, you know, with him wearing the boar head, um, you, you kind of figured that, that he was, you know, that he was, you know, he, you know, human. Because with wearing the boar head, you know, his mouth, the, the boar head's mouth wasn't moving or anything like that. And at the same time, still wondering about, um, you know, how he got that forehead. But Inosuke finally being revealed through his fight with Tanjiro at the beginning of this episode was was uh, uh, great to see. Just the the, the reveal, um, and 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 also to the you know just the fight itself with with uh, Tanjiro was very fun to watch. Um, I enjoyed. The fight that they had, um, and you know, there there wasn't really a point where either, in my opinion, there really wasn't a point where either of them had an advantage in the fight. It just, you know, it kind of seemed like either way could have went a specific way with, between the two. But event, you know, eventually Tanjiro did what he did with the headbutt and caused the boar head to fall off of Inosuke's head, and. Um, you know, we got the reveal. Um, but, you know, at the same time, Inosuke still, you know, with the past uh, video that I did on him before, you know, before the reveal, before, you know, we, we found out his name. Um, because, I'm, I'm, as always, I'm not reading the manga um, until, you know, after each episode is get, getting pushed out. And then once season one ends, once episode 26 finalizes, I won't be picking up the manga, the manga again until season two comes because again as always i'm expecting a season two because it, because i don't want you know i don't want spoilers when it comes to the anime so to see this happen it was it was great it was great it was cool but again as always inosuke still upsets me even with even for those of you who seen my reaction to episode 14 um and even prior you know between episodes um 12 and up that you know inosuke attacking uh, the little girl, while Tanjiro was protecting the little girl from Kaiogai, um, you know, him, that made me upset. You know, Inosuke stepping on the little girl as well, not, you know, not paying attention to that. You know, and him, you know, him wanting to just fight, um, just to fight. It's like, you know, there were moments in episode 14 where, yeah, it was, you know, it was funny to see him do that, but at some point you have to sit back and say dude you're a little too aggressive you kind of chill you know you shouldn't you shouldn't want to fight you know roughly 99% of the time you know you need to save that energy for the demons um, except for of course uh, Nezuko um, but but yeah all in all cool true um, uh, reveal for Inosuke here um, like I said in Boarhead in the name um, just hope, hoping that Inosuke calms down. That's also what I want to say. Inosuke needs to calm down so that, like I said, he can conserve his energy for the true threat. Um, but like I said, I didn't, like I said, I, again, I did enjoy his fight with Tanjiro specifically. That was fun to see. But he still has red flags about him that I do not like in his character. Um, but, you know. We'll see what happens as we move forward with the anime, and you know, of course, with the with the with the manga as I you know read the chapters of the manga after each episode. We'll see what happens. So we have 12 episodes left, guys, before season one is over with. So we'll see what happens um, in episode 15 next Saturday. But with that, I'm about to be out. Let me know your thoughts. What did y'all think of this video? Let's have a conversation in the comment section. If you feel up to it, and I will talk to you all in the next Demon Slayer video. Peace, guys.